Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things home education in the United Kingdom and neurodivergent family life in a household of five. Uh, that includes motherhood, uh, cleaning, homemaking, real life vlogs, all of that sort of stuff. There's so much coming up on the channel soon. And I'm really excited to get back into this with you and uh, share the things that you've asked me to share, which is more about my real life and the things that I do actually do with my children and the things I do in my life. And I'm really excited to share them with you. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed already, please think about doing so. Uh, I do a happy dance every single time and I have set myself a goal to get to 2,500 subscribers by hmm, maybe in the new year. I'm kind of thinking that maybe... Um, Ostara or Easter um those are different times actually Ostara's in March and Easter I believe is going to be in April um but somewhere around then I'd love to be over 2500 that would mean the world to me so uh let's if you haven't if you're watching this and you're not subscribed please please think about it it would mean everything to me so uh, I wanted to talk to you today about the uh, potential home education register that the Labour government has been talking about. And they've been talking about it for a while. And I know the Conservative government, when it was in power, were thinking about it as well. I think at some point uh, it's probably going to happen. I don't think there's any way that we can escape it or get rid of it, no matter how much we shout. I just feel like it's going to happen at some point. And I'd rather be prepared and have... Um, <sighs> And uh, I was talking to another home educator friend of mine and she said, oh, well, if they come for me, then I'm going to hit them with malicious compliance. And um, and by that, and I was like, oh my gosh, me too. And by that, we mean sending them literally everything, uh, every, the, you know, stacks per kid of stuff this high and then being like, I'd like it all back, please. Um, yeah, so that's my plan as well, is that when the time comes, I will hit them with so much stuff, they will wish they'd never talked to me. And one of the ways I'm doing that is keeping daily records every time we do home ed. And I have, guess what? That's right. There's a digital product and it's free. A printable. You know how I love a good printable. Here it is. And I've made it all pretty and girly because as I've said to you before, I don't, I just make stuff that I want to use and then I whack it on my pay hip shop so you can use it too. And if, you know, if you don't like it, let me know. Uh, probably for like a small fee just because it takes up my time, I would make you your own one that's not pink and flowery. Like if you're like, I want blue and dinosaurs, then I would make you one. Probably for like a pound because it wouldn't take me very long. But you know, energy transference and all that, right? So, I've got three children, as you know, you don't see them very often, but they are here. Um, and I'm not like, I'm not one of these people who hides their children on the internet. Uh, I completely respect uh, people who do, but yeah. You know their names are Charles Bessie and Albert, and you know what they look like. And uh, I don't hide them. I just, they are hard work to film. Charles isn't. Charles is an absolute delight. But Bessie and Albert are hard work to film because they'll suddenly be like, you know, do you remember that time you farted and it smelled funny? Like kind of thing. And I'll be like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. And sometimes I just, I just don't want to deal with that. So here it is. This is my daily home education record. It's got room for the date and your topic. If you've got a theme that day. And this one is just for three children. So I've put child, child's name, child's name, child's name. So you see, that would be suitable for me because I could write Charles, Bessie, Albert. And I could write the stuff that they've done into it. I've also got one for two children, child's name, child's name and notes, move it a little bit closer so you can see. So there might be something else you want to add. And I kind of, it looked a bit weird with only two boxes. So I added that one in. And then this one can be for one child, I've put English, maths, other. And you can also use this for multiple children as well if you wanted to. So if you wanted to just do um, one of these per child, that would be fine. That would totally work. Also, Say you've got five children, that's fine, you can just use these. Say you've got six children, you can just use two of these. If you've got four children, you can use two of these. You get my point, right? Um, so, yes, I try to make it as versatile as possible. And this is what I'm doing. So, I've got my, I've got my pen and I'm going to bring the camera down and you can see me write sort of what I would put in here. Um... A rough guide uh, this is something that we did the other day okay so it's not exactly what we did today because of the things that we do uh, on different days and when I'm filming and stuff 
but this will give you an example of what we like to do in our home education. Come, come closer. Not that close. Ah! <laughs> Okey dokey. So uh, today is the 4th of November. So there we go. And our topic um, at the moment, let's say, is uh, mapping our world. There we go. That's the topic that we've done recently. So I'm going to write their names. And sometimes I might write what they want me to write. So Charles might want me to write the Rat King. But I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, as I'm trying to be sensible about this. Oh, I've used the wrong one. Dag nam it. Right. Anyway. I was like, where's the other kid's name? There we go. Try again. Everyone makes mistakes and it's all okay. So then we've got Charles. Betty. Okay, okay. So I might write something like Charles completed. I can't spell. It would help if I could spell, wasn't it? Completed 12 lessons on Komodo maths. And got A plus in all lessons. He worked on multiplication and division mainly. He read a chapter of what are you eating talking to the dog by the way harry potter and um i can't spell philosophers but he also his own map of our town including places to him and what else did we do and I identified our address town county country and he I would probably type this and he also attended uh, scouts so that's not technically true but this is just an example so there we go that's a daily log of what we do of what we've done for example okay so that's a reasonable example of something so that's english and maths and one other thing which is something that i always aim for um that would probably in some local authorities not be deemed as enough but it kind of evens out um over over the week for us i think um your um that's just an example i think but i sort of ran out of space didn't i so so there's an example of how i would use my daily home education records uh i would probably hole punch them and put them into um a a4 ring binder uh, this is a very like I ran out of room didn't I really but I think it's because my handwriting's big I would probably type this and then print it out rather than um rather than handwrite it but um like you can um download as it's downloaded as a pdf you can then write on it in adobe um and I that's how I would suggest that you use it um but yes if not you can handwrite it uh, as well 
Sorry, I'll be all right. Ooh. Another thing that I would suggest is using something called the Home Education Network. I think I've put a, um, what do you call it? A link in the description for it. It's essentially like if you've ever, if your child's ever been to preschool and you've used tapestry, it's essentially like tapestry, but you get to put in, put everything in yourself. And there's a function where you can share a report with somebody and you send them the link and they can only see it until you change the password. So if you say to them, this will be available for you to, for you to view for a week, you then change the password and they can't access it again unless they've got the password again. So that's really, really useful. And, um, it is a payable service but it's all it's the links in the description go and check it out um it's run by home educators owned by home educators and it's almost like social media for home educators in a way like you can share stuff with other home educators um which is really really good you can do you have like a written only one or you can put photos or videos like this different um what do you call it different brain different levels of subscription there we go i just have sometimes i have to say brain brain like like hello brain and then i can magically do it it's it's crazy so those uh that's how i use the daily home education records and that's how i'm prepping for the potential register and that main thing is i am going to over um comply i'm going to give them so much stuff that they're going to be like okay we get the point thank you please stop um because I don't think our local authority will be able to cope with it, personally. And I'm not not trying to be mean to the people at the local authority, but I think that if, like, there's a few of us that are overtrievers, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So that's my suggestion uh, for local authority, um, for local authority to register, when we may all, even the ones who are flying under the radar, can you believe that I'm still flying under the radar? I've been doing this channel since 2019, and my local authority has never picked up on it clearly not that bothered are they and if they did i would hit them with major over compliance so they wouldn't want to talk to me anymore <laughs> uh, but i will be using things like this and i use them on a daily basis to record my children's home education hello taylor and um so eventually i have a big stack of stuff um and then i will just put that in the loft and then when they want to know they can have it all so that's what i'm starting to do and i'm starting to do it as of this year uh for us as pagans new year started on samhain which was the 31st of october so uh as the new year the witch's new year the pagan new year begins uh i i am going to be filling out these records every single day and um i also use a notebook sometimes and do a similar thing where i fill uh, write the same things like each child has a notebook and then i write in the notebook or i might use one notebook and i will just write charles on one page bessie on another and Albert on another um and then just write in the, in the notebook and then um it's something that's that's my property and i can send that notebook uh, without the permission of my children um i do feel like if i'm going to send work i would have to ask their permission so uh, so thank you so much for joining me here on Adventure All The Way. I really, really appreciate your support. And thank you uh, to all of my viewers all the time because uh, I love receiving the comments. I love seeing that people are watching the videos because I'm like, okay, that means I'm going to do another one. And uh, as I said in one of my previous videos where I said like a big channel update, I am planning to work hard on this channel until um, the end of the year, which will bring videos up to like February, March time um and then we'll see how we go if it is increasing and growing and we are heading towards a positive place where uh, the channel is growing and i'm heading towards somewhere where it's actually going to become um an income for me then i will continue to post at this rate and i'll continue to put the effort in however if um it doesn't then i might just stop maybe i will just do videos um, that will only upload like once a month or something just so people still have access to my support but they I uh, don't I'm not having to put as much effort in that's kind of my plan at the moment so um I will let you know um in December <laughs> whether I'm going to be continuing the channel or not thank you uh thank you again and uh, take care love you all loads bye don't forget to like and subscribe why is this never work